a quick overview of uh, doing test flight with your apps to beta test. Basically, the first thing you need to do is you have to go to your apps. What's going on there? Then you click on one app, for example, with them. And then you go to test flight. And here you see all your versions. And when you uploaded a new build, um, then it will appear here. At first, I already have done that, but normally you need to do that when uploading a new build. You have to um, fill out information about import com export compliance. Then you can click on that one and um, send it over to Apple for review because every iOS or OS X um, beta has to be approved from Apple. And when that's done, you can basically invite people to um, do your beta testing. One thing which I was not aware of um, is that you can do um, public links for beta testing. That's pretty cool and I just wanted to show you that one quickly. Um, one thing you can do is you can just um, add individual testers here. Um, you can enter an email address and you can also um, invite him or her. And the other thing is that you can add a group um, of people which um, test the app. And here comes in something very interesting. You can create groups for external testing. Um, for example, I will name that one um, public link. Then when we have that group, um, I need to first assign a build to that group. Um, I just want to do it for iOS. Um, taking that already approved build, then I add it to the group. And now you can enable a public link, which is pretty powerful. So one thing you can do is you can just um, add testers with their email address, but you can also enable the public link. Then you say enable. And now you have a public link um, where people can join your beta testing, which is pretty cool when you're just doing something like a marketing campaign uh, or a Reddit post to ask for beta testers. And then you just include that link and people can join clicking on that link, downloading test flight and then installing your app. And um, that's really cool. I just discovered that recently and wanted to share it with you because I think it's way better than invite every tester um, via email address, at least for some cases. Hope that's something you can make some use um, from and that's it so far.